You know what time it is. Cue up the band. Dun 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 dun. Sing along. We're in the irk, 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 irk. money, 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 money. Everybody's got a price. Everybody's gonna pay. Cause the million dollar man always gets his way. <laughs> guys, guys, what can I say? <sighs> Congrats to Ismael Barroso, the champ, the man, the legend. All right. Um, now maybe he'll finally get his respect, all right? People talk about, oh, he look old, he look old, you know? Look at the skill, look at the power, look at the longevity, all right? Um, Congrats to him, his team. Congrats to anyone who took my advice or on their own, knew to play Barroso in this fight. Um, This was a fight where we were able to capitalize off uh the odds makers making a bad line man you know um you know as the brits would say and i'm not trying to be funny by saying that but as the brits would say let me give my commiserations to uh o'hara davies uh i actually feel bad for o'hara davies man uh i feel as they would say i feel gutted for him uh in all honesty man uh he seems like a good dude man he's um you know, I don't know much about him. I haven't followed him his whole career, but um, from from seeing his Instagram, from the way he he likes to touch gloves after every round in a fight, um, he just comes off as a a, a good genuine dude, man. And um, that's got to be a hard pill to swallow, man. He was very confident in winning this fight. I don't know how long he's been boxing, but just imagine. You know, the length of time this guy's been boxing, possibly maybe 10 years or more. Um, you know, I'm talking about from the very beginning of him, you know, learning boxing, all right. How long it's been. And uh, you know, this guy has had dreams of fighting for a world title, to be a world champion, to fight in America. Uh, he was, you know, honored and, and almost blinded by the big lights of being on the Golden Boy show, Oscar De La Hoya. You know, all these things, man. And, um, you know, uh, the guy, man, you know, to be as confident as he was to have this outcome is, uh, it's gotta be a, a tough pill to swallow, man. Uh, to have to live with that, uh, for the rest of his life, you know, may not be able to get back to, uh, to this, you know, to this type of opportunity. Um, you know, when he thought he was, he was going to win, he thought he was going to, be a champion and um i'm sure he, he worked hard to do that man so you know so my heart goes out to the guy i saw uh ness the boxing voice posted a, i think it was a short in which he commented after the fight um you could just see the pain in his face as he was wrapping up that video man you know like his head was down man it was heartbroken and um i feel for the guy man i really do um so i'm not gonna come on here i'm not gonna call him names I'm not gonna run him down uh, I'm going to be a classic winner. I'm not going to criticize the guy, nothing like that. All right. Uh, you know, uh, and you know, I, I wish him well, cause a lot of people might not be able to recover from this, man. This, this could, could ruin someone's life in all seriousness. So, uh, I'm not going to run them down, call them names. Let's be classic winners. All right. Um, now having said that, uh, the odds makers were, you know, were way off on the odds in this fight, man. Uh, he was a minus 500 favorite over, you know, a much more seasoned, experienced, powerful, better technically, faster with the feet, hands, legs, all that, all right, even at an advanced age, all right. Um, the fight played out the way exactly as I said it would. Now, I did not predict a first-round knockout. I was not saying that he was going to do it. My prediction was Barroso was going to win within the first six rounds as with all his stoppages, all right. Now, the reason I played the first round and I made such huge profit off of it 
was because the odds makers gave such great odds. You know, with this situation, you know, this level of punch with a 92% carry percentage, fighting a guy who was hittable, in my opinion, all right? Um, you know, plus 10,000 when Barroso had multiple first-round stoppages. You know, it, it was a must-play, man. And, um, you know, as you've seen from my, my bet slips, I basically played it at different sports books, all right? They were given the plus 10,000. Now, uh, at first, um, DraftKings was the highest. They gave a plus 8,000. I didn't think it was going to be any better than that, all right? Um, so what I did was actually, since, uh, you know, some of the other books put had it at a plus 10,000, and I played it there, I said, well, I want to get, you know, equal up to 10,000 off, off DraftKings. So I played the, I think, the rounds one through four prop at FanDuel, which, uh, you know, when added with that, would equal up another 10,000, all right? Uh, then Saturday, as I was working, I said, you know what? I'm hitting all these other books up for 10,000. Let me go ahead, even though FanDuel had lower odds at a plus 7,000. Let me go ahead and play it there too. And what I did was I played uh, enough to win 5,000 on round one. And then the rounds one or two probably was a plus 6,000. I played enough to win 5,000 on that. So if he didn't get the first round stoppage and he stopped him in the second round, I still would have some extra bonus money, all right? And it turned out I got the 10 there also, all right? So, yeah. Uh, definitely my, my biggest win of my uh, betting career uh, by far, and it didn't take – it took less than three minutes, all right? Um, you know, salute to Ismael Barroso. Uh, you know, people need to respect this man. I, you know – the first, like I said, the first time I saw this guy was when he fought Eve Ulysse. Uh, I think back in 2019, all right, on a Golden Boy show. I'm pretty sure he was the underdog in that fight. Uh, Eve Ulysse was the gold champion in that fight. He uh, he was the younger man in that fight by five years. And um, Barroso clearly outboxed him, dominated him, you know. I salute Eve Ulysse for, for going a full 12 with Barroso because he's the only man that's going a full 12, you know. Uh, well, at least... Uh, in a Barroso victory, I believe Barroso lost a 12 round fight uh, by decision once, I, I think. All right. Um, so, yeah, so I, I salute him for uh, standing there with Barroso that long. Also, you got to give Romero credit for, you know, for he got he got knocked down, he got back up, and he was continuing in that fight. All right. Tony Weeks struck yet again last night, didn't he? How, how ironic. All right. But, um, you know, I, I want to give a big thanks and salute. To Ismael Barroso for coming through. Again, commiserations to uh, uh, O'Hara Davies and his team. Uh, I hope the brother will, will be okay, you know, because, like I said, this could ruin people. Not just boxing-wise. I'm talking about ruin a life, all right. And uh, I definitely don't want that for that guy, all right, because he seems like a good dude. But, um, you know, I, 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 I remember Barroso landing a straight left, kind of like a left hook you know, up top earlier, and then, of course, that counter shot, man, you know, um, Davies was there to get hit, you know, as I, you know, had pointed out in, in earlier videos, I, I felt that he was hittable, um, you know, he was wide open to get hit, and he got hit by a, a you know, a devastating puncher, man, and uh, he closed the show, knocked him down twice, he got up, and was standing there kind of stiff and like he was just staring off in the space and the fight was stopped. All right. Now, uh, I also will give, um, uh, I'm going to say I give some credit. Uh, you know, well, actually I want to say, I want to say that, you know, Davies like, he was kind of like shocked and amazed by the big lights, you know, like big eyed by the big lights, man. Like the moment kind of got to him, you know, so, uh, but salute to the guy, man. I wish him well. Um, let me know what you guys think, man. Congrats to you if you won on this fight, and I'll check in with you soon. Thanks for watching.